Hey everybody, the Bond Guy's back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Grey Strikes Back, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we finally made it to World 6, which is Magnet Volcano and where Biometal W is said to be. Okay, more taking that Setsu 3 music, and that's this is boss music! Funny we're hearing boss music in a standard level, which blows my mind. Also, what the hell will be up here? That all I need the blue switch for. Bonus area, I bet. You know what? I like I said before, I do like that most every level has a hidden pipe that requires a little bit of finesse and some exploring to find, and it would just be a place for lots and lots and lots of coins. I like that concept. I hope other hackers implement it. With their own designs, of course. Just be creative. Sometimes the world is your oyster and you gotta shuck it once in a while. Alright, let's go. I'll leave that guy alive as a witness. He'll know what he just saw! And know not to mess with me again. You know what, screw it, I'm gonna take a feather this time. It'd be nice to actually kill Dry Bones as opposed to just leaving them crumbled. With a little bit of their pride gone. Uh, the Bowser statues are here. Great. I don't think Bowser will be involved in this hack, though. Maybe as some kind of hidden boss in another level. But he's not going to be a main boss, I can just tell. Unless Bowser actually created Grey, which is highly unlikely. But alas, we made it to Magnet Volcano 2. With Boomer Kawanger music. Oh, and the bullies are here! And the bullies are queer. Get used to it. Not that I have anything against queers. Never have, never will. Moving on! It's nice to bring the bullies in in this hack. I mean, they've been in many other hacks, and they're in... They're coded well. Like, they do what they're supposed to do, just push you around. They're not very intelligent, though, and they'll just walk into lava like absolute derps. Which, you can understand the whole brute mechanic by having no brains but all brawn. Those characters were designed well in Mario 64. Oh. Okay, that one was actually a bit tricky. I had to go backwards that time. Oh god, fire chomps! I've always hated these guys. Be so annoying. The hopping fire all the same. It's a good idea to keep a cape for this level. Especially if those fireballs are about to rain down on ya. Then you can just deflect them. And the fire chunks, you don't have to worry about jumping on them. Any of these pipes I can go down? No. Wow, I totally botched that one. Whoa! Almost took another dumb hit. I can't use fire to take out the fire chomps. Can't say I'm surprised about that, because I'm not. But, I'll at least get my feather back. Alright, that was pretty cool. Sort of. Haha, <laughs> finished the level without hitting the ground for the past five seconds or so. But who's counting? Alright, secret exit level. The thermal doors will only work if you put the key in frozen water or lava, depending on the key. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I just do this? No. That's not how it works. Okay, I get it now. I'm guessing I have to, uh, like, make this key cold? Good to know I can still grab it. So if I can find some water, then this thing should be active to open that door. I think that's where they're trying to go with this. Could be wrong, though. Again, I hate the chops! 
Because I usually pick the worst timing. Okay, I say now it should work. So let me take this. But I want to keep this. There, let's cheat the level a little bit. No, no. Oh, frag me. Sideways. Now I gotta do all that again. <sighs> Have to find more water. And now I gotta go all the way back. Okay, try not to fly so far this time. Until we get around this stretch. Okay, now it should work. Oh god, it's a boss! But I've heard this music before in Soup in Master Hand's Doomsday. It's a very good boss music. I ran to this guy before, of course, in the uh, prequel. Watch out for the Koopas. I say that and I still get hit like a dumbass. I don't get hit at all. Easier said than done, because there's just so much to... Ah! Damn. To deal with. And that was it. So this had to be the secret exit here. It was. I would imagine it would be, considering there was a nice bit of work involved. But I'm guessing the normal exit will just require this to be, well, hot. We'll see. But for now, it looks like I have to go all the way to the right. But it's good to get that out of the way, because that was such a pain in the ass to require two tries. But we made it work. Yep, I figured you wouldn't eat it hot. Ah, damn, it's another key. Alright, so let's obviously look for red. That's not gonna do the trick. But I'm sure we'll find some lava all the way to the right. And I have to try to keep that thing hot. Try to kill the enemies, of course, to make it a little bit easier, because then oh, I gotta go back, unfortunately. I just hope I don't want it to go too far back. What happens if I was able to go all the way through there? Well, let's see. What happens if I t put it to the red lock? I'm hoping there's not more than one way to get the secret exit here, because that would be so annoying to have to go through all that. Well, let's find out. Red this time! Okay, I'm just having this feeling that, you know, of course, this is just going to be the secret exit again. Only a different route. But let's see. If I can stay alive, of course. Remember, easier said than done with this type of enemy. Yep, this was the secret exit again, I thought so. So really what I just should do is just go on to the right all the time as opposed to go to the left. Makes the level a bit long though. But you know what? So be it. Oh, finally a checkpoint. I'll probably have to do this one more time and then that'll be it. Or maybe I won't have to. I'm hoping I won't have to. Yeah, it's looking there won't be a key involved here. And that's fine by me. Wow! I didn't think you would kick me that far, but- Oh my god, you made me miss the flower! You are the absolute worst bully. But at least I'll get a leaf out of this. No, feather. 
It's Mario 3 you're thinking of, Bongo. It's so easy to get those mixed up from time to time. But this is Magnet Volcano 4. Wow, this is looking like a pretty long world. First, let's go to the Red Switch Palace. Oh, it's gonna be this kind of place, huh? Alright, I can handle it. So far, it doesn't look too complicated. I mean, you're gradually making progress as you move along. Which, of course, is important. I mean, I'd rather progress over... regress. Some people say, I prefer progress over Congress, but then again, I'm not American. So I don't have to deal with Congress. Senate, yes. Congress, no. And Red Switch Palace, I will not have to deal with, because it has been activated. Alright. Making very good time here. Oh god, upside down portables. I've had enough of you guys in Mario 3. Wait, where have I heard this music before? Have I heard it at all? Oh, of all the places. Wow! <laughs> Get hit! Die! The lava's a bit low for the ceiling. Didn't give you a lot of space to work with. Yeah! F off, Potobo. God, this music might be familiar, but it also might not be. Where's it from? I'm sure you guys will tell me if you've heard it before. It does seem nice. Oh god. I have to be fast. And these sliding Koopas don't help. Oh, footballs now? Oh, you! You're the problem! And I would take the worst possible hit there. At least I'll get it back. Whoa. Oh my god, again? Can I just hold on to a cape for a little while? I thought I was actually supposed to go backwards there. Thank god I didn't have to. <sighs> Frag me sideways. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully I don't botch it. Knowing me, I will. But you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna try. I'm not even gonna bother to hit that guy. Just move on and go. Focus on staying alive. That's all that matters. Are you freaking kidding me? How does a punter have such good accuracy, yet frigs up 30-yard field goals? Seriously, how do you do that? Huh. <sighs> you just kick straight! Okay, Magnet Volcano 5. Huh. Alright, so this one's gonna have a secret exit. Okay, I've seen this tile set before in the background. I, be oh, fuck. I believe this is from Sonic 2 for the Game Gear. Could have been for the Master System as well. You'll lose any power up if you enter in some skull cart. I feel comfortable about that. Then again, I had no power-up. Maybe the music is from the same game. You know what, that 3-up moon is with God now. Just not with me. If I keep this up, I'm gonna be with God. Whoa! But I don't know what God would take a plumber. That's it? Huh. 
was fast. For some reason, I was thinking the secret exit would be around that area. Wait. I have this feeling I'm gonna need to fly. What the freak? Aha! I knew there was something suspicious when I seen the blocks look like this. What do you know? I was right. This is definitely where the secret exit is. Intuition, man, I'm telling ya! Most of it has common sense, of course, but intuition, yeah! Okay, this is dragging on a little bit. Come on. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Of course, it takes you to Star Road, and I believe this will take me to the castle if I get the normal exit. Okay, try not to get hit too early, Bonga. Thank you, that's much better. Of course, none of that matters, so I'm gonna lose my power up. And I lost my life, too. Don't. <sighs> Why rewind? Would you take me all the way back here? Alright, let's try this again. I am making some dumb mistakes here. Oh, yeah, maybe I should just. Just jump before going on on the decline. Because for some reason, when you're going like downhill, you hit the jump button, it won't work. So I'll just try to jump a little bit earlier next time. Okay, that should be the end of that part. Can I keep my power up? Well, technically, I lost my power up, but at least I'm big. Kind of stupid. But what's not stupid? Actually, seeing Rexes that are green and move faster. And they function the same way. That's actually pretty cool. I like that setup. It's too bad Super Mario World didn't implement different kinds of Rexes. You know, like advanced versions of enemies you have fought. I don't know if I'd want a Bonsai Bill that moves super fast. But I wouldn't mind a bonsai build that was, well, bigger. Like mega bonsai builds. Hey, you made the Monty Moles bigger, why not the bonsai bill, am I right? Then again, bonsai builds are tangly bullet builds aren't made bigger, so I guess it'd be a bit of overkill. What else could you do, like giant Goombas? I mean, you done that in Mario 3, why not in Super Mario World? Oh, man, I forgot the swims were just going straight down. That's a bit different. I wasn't prepared for that. It is pretty neat to have thwumps, I mean, thwimps going straight. As opposed to the usual diagonal jumps. That was a bit tricky. That's not so bad. That's pretty much the same. Just remember that I had to go over the thwomp. And of course over the thwimps. Remember, I can't jump on those blocks. Alright, we made it through the level. Okay, we're going straight to the castle. Lobster Gray? Uh, I think I'll just go to this level instead. Disturbed Dungeon. Maybe we'll get down with the sickness or something. <laughs> get it? I don't know what's so disturbing about this. It looks like a standard dungeon. Don't tell me it's gonna be a puzzle. Let me not go to the right yet. Oh, this is just for power-ups? I guess I will have to go to the right. So be it. I have to think of where am I gonna find the secret exit. It'll probably involve the off and on switches. I wouldn't be surprised. I haven't seen enough of this level yet to be sure. Hmm. Okay, you're gonna be a nuisance. Oops, let's try that again. So as 
I supposed to do this? I think I was. Oh, Kaizo Bridge. I'll clear out just enough. Like, I don't need to clear out all of those. And we're done. So what's World 7, then? Um, is this supposed to be some kind of special world? I don't think so. Starlight Zone. Alright. Let's get the normal exit. Remember, status quo. People are afraid of change. That's why I'm keeping things the same. But so far, so good. I mean, I don't think it, people are that afraid of change that they freaked out when I decided I was going to do modern LPs as well. It's like, I thought you only did old games. Oh my god. What are we going to do? Next thing we know, you're gonna be a woman! Not true! I'm all man, deal with it. W blocks? Okay. Whoa, the grinder just disappeared. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Okay, maybe I should've just killed that enemy. Okay, I'm gonna go through those blocks, so don't jump on them. Kill the dry bones, of course. He has no reason to live. You do to those guys. Why are these blocks W? I know model W, but this is the star world, not the main world. I don't know what kind of difference that would make, but it does seem like it would to me. Let's see what else we got here. Boom, boom. I don't want you in my room! Okay. At least this did not glitch up when I killed him. Thank God. Okay, Lobster Gray, let's do this. Okay, of course, this is Mega Man 3 music. With a Mega Man 2 tile set, of course. And at least I can't get on those bullet bills, therefore I cannot be crushed from above or below. But that actually is pretty cool to have bullet bills moving up and down on a rail and then shoot at you, like, on a timed interval. Wait, did I kill a thwomp? Oh my god, I know what it is now. The thwomps, they, they blow up! Okay, that's new. I was not prepared for that. They don't even go back up, they just explode. At least you can still spin jump on them. Too bad the chumps didn't explode. I would've liked that a lot. And you can wipe away the explosions with your cape. That's a bit hardcore. But you know what? It's the good kind of hardcore as opposed to the cheap kind. Alright. This is looking pretty good. Let's see, is this gonna get harder from here? I would not be surprised. And what's the deal with Lobster Gray? Is it gonna involve Heavy Lobster from Kirby Superstar? I don't know. There's so many questions here. Like, how does a lobster come to this? Or maybe it's gonna be Cloglip from Mario 2. Again, so many possibilities. Oh, whoa, that's a bit risky there, but I made it work. Okay, there's a bit too many of these types of enemies. I don't like them. They're a total pain in the arse. Okay, what's this? Oh my god, it is Heavy Lobster. But for some reason, it shoots like Triclide from Mario 2. That did not work. Wait a minute, I see what it is now. No, I thought it was the color of the eye. That means only green shells can hurt it. I guess that was just a bad aim on my part. We'll see. Whoops, that was a dumb hit on my part. I think having a flower is a bad idea. Awesome! 
That was pretty cool to have a boss like that. It was a bit difficult on the dodging perspective, but I avoided damage, which blew my mind. Okay, now we're at World 7. G grass gra gradation? Or is that supposed to be graduation? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next part, we're going to see what this level's all about. Goodbye.